Do you want your Pokemon stats to look like this? Well, today I'm going to give you the ultimate breeding guide so you can make your Pokemon look like this in the fastest, easiest, and best way possible. So in order to breed your Pokemon, you will need to head over to the daycare in Laguna Lake. And you will have to talk to the lady in the daycare to leave up two Pokemon in order to breed. You could breed two Pokemon of the same species, a significant Pokemon with Ditto, two Pokemon of the same A group, or Pokemon in the same evolution line. And if you're breeding two Pokemon in the same A group, the offspring of the Pokemon will be the same Pokemon as the female Pokemon. You're going to need to walk a certain amount of steps to hatch your egg, and depending on the Pokemon you breed, the amount of steps vary. And Pokemon eggs are measured in egg cycles, with one egg cycle equaling 256 steps, or an other words one max repel however if you put a pokemon with flame body magma armor or steam engine in your party your egg cycles will be cut in half and your parent pokemon will have a chance to lay an egg depending if they meet any of the breeding requirements oval charm will increase the chances of your parent pokemon to hatch an egg so if you talk to the man standing in front of the daycare he will inform you with how well your pokemon are getting along and pro tip if you breed the same pokemon with different ot's on them the odds of your parents laying an egg will increase drastically so once you grab your egg from the daycare man you're gonna need a hatchet and the fastest way to hatch an egg is to buy a hoverboard from the hoverboard shop while you move around the egg watch will indicate how close your egg is from hatching giving you these quotes you see on screen if you want to hatch a pokemon with the best stats possible you're gonna need an ever stone and a destiny knot you can find an everstone by diving in laguna lake and you could buy a destiny knot for 3500 ticks at the arcade the everstone passes the parent's nature down to the offspring and the destiny knot passes three random ivs down to its offspring and if you take everything i provided in this video you will have pokemon that look exactly like this so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed watching this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'm almost at 2000 subscribers and i would appreciate it a lot if you just press that subscribe button and with that being said i'm out